Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. In the chat room last night. Would you alter your lip movements to make up for... <laughs> In the chat room last night, <laughs> said Los asked a question, what is... <laughs> Definitely that worked. <laughs> yeah. You're getting punchy here. Uh, the uh, Zedlos asked the question, what is an API? And an API stands for Application Programming Interface. You want to take a stab at what you think an API is? You've yeah. heard it all the time. Say it first, and then I'll tell I you did. what I think of. Application Programming Interface. API. Essentially... I see it as a, as a conduit to get information from one place to another. That's it. <laughs> Fonzie just nailed it, man. I don't even need to explain it any better than that. When developers uh, create a platform or a structure, their, their site, um, and they want other developers to interact with it, they create what's known as an API. So they say, this is how your application can make calls to my application. You got to do it this way, this way, this way, this way, and this way. And then the other developers go, oh, okay, so I can do this with this and this and this and this. And that's how mashups are created. Because suddenly you can mash up Google Maps with Flickr, with um, blaff and you can do it all at the same time and through these application programming interfaces these APIs suddenly you have this interconnected what they call web 2.0 world where one application is no longer a walled garden where you know traditionally you would think of what I built this website everything that happens here I control and no one else can control what happens inside this universe well more and more platforms are becoming open and saying you know what it's okay for you to come in so this whole big debate, this you know, recently, um, MySpace. When people put widgets on MySpace, sometimes MySpace will shut them down. They'll say, no, you can't put this widget on MySpace. You can only use MySpace widgets. Why? Because MySpace has control. They say, no, we, you know, we only sanction these widgets to be run in MySpace, not these. You can't use this site or this site. You can only use this site. So people, for the most part, have been saying, all right, fine, it's MySpace. Well, then Facebook comes along, and it's, it's been out for a while, but they come along and they say, okay, here's the Facebook API, make uh, an application and then uh, share it on Facebook. That's awesome. Yeah, so Facebook is totally the anti-MySpace. Now, if only the hardware companies would agree to do this kind of thing. Oh, yeah, there's a big push. Phil Tarone has been pushing for uh, APIs on hardware for a long time. That would be so phenomenal. But imagine. that's the thing, you know, open source hardware would be just absolutely amazing, but unfortunately, yeah, hardware is fundamentally different than software for a lot of reasons. There are hard costs associated with hardware. You know, certain people, you know, you can build out of a kit, or if you know enough about circuitry and how things work, you build your own, uh, but in terms of mass production and on a mass scale, it's, it's going to be a long time before I think you're going to see decades. Wow. Decades. We're nowhere near it. Facebook just copies what MySpace does. That is so not true. Facebook, I explained this in my blog post last night. Uh, I, I'm not, probably not going to close my MySpace account, but I'm certainly paying more attention to Facebook. Just because it's... I one of those. Well, I'm, I'm getting ready to dump MySpace. I think someone's been trying to get into my account. Because it's been saying too many attempts with the wrong password, you can't get in. Oh, really? Yeah, so I think someone's been trying to get into my account. And not only that, but honestly, there's a lot of garbage in MySpace. I, I've yet to have any kind of validation in being in MySpace. It no, it's, it's done me absolutely no good. I just thought MySpace was mainly like all teens. Kind of kind of is. There's some older people. There's some younger people. Uh, Facebook traditionally was the college crowd, but it's since kind of branched out from the university level and become more, I guess, ubiquitous in terms of now a lot of people in the valley are picking it up because these are Silicon Valley people are all in the open APIs and APIs and mashups and you know what's hot, what's happening, and Facebook is this open platform for them. So now all my friends are moving over to Facebook. So that's when I got to get in there. And I only got in there because Debbie Landa from Under the Radar says, Chris, you know, you gotta look at this. I'm like, I don't I don't want to do this. Well, she says, No, this is what I did. I set up a group and then instantaneously all these people started to just join it. I was like, do you know who these people are? She says yeah. So the people that know her are coming to her through this group. I'm like, what's the advantage of that? Well, the advantage is that they may not be following you in your blog, but they know who you are. So if you put yourself out on a social network, and this social network integrates with your Flickr, it integrates with your YouTube, it integrates with all these other services, 
then oh, suddenly, that's nice. cool. yeah, that's that's what the API and when Facebook opens their API, that people can write to it. There's but delicious. You have to write everything again, like you, like in your blog. So do we no, get the blog? I have it, full no, I have it, I have it set up so that my blog feed goes into my Facebook. My Flickr photos do, my delicious That's links, great. my yeah. podcast links, I think vicariously through my Twitters. It all just goes into one yeah, spot. That is goes really into cool. one spot on my on my Facebook page. So yeah, that's the idea again of APIs is that you could have these platforms that are no longer these silos for communities. It's it's an open uh, it's an open system. The web is moving that direction. So APIs are a good thing. So there's a, a hard lesson and a philosophical lesson surrounding a very technical topic. Open API or die. Amen.